which doesn't make sense to me because it's one of our leading causes of death in Florida. Um, and so I'm ordering our Department of Health. Uh, you need to make Alzheimer's a part of our state health improvement plan. So that's going to happen very quickly. <laughs> And the other thing I'm doing, I'm directing our Department of Health to apply to be a center of excellence pursuant to the Federal Bold Act, uh, because I want to position Florida to pursue and receive federal grants for evidence-based approaches to treatment and prevention uh, of Alzheimer's and other dementia. Um, and so they're going to be pursuing that as well. Um, this is this was just signed last year, and it authorizes $20 million a year for five years. Uh, 100 million total that would establish Alzheimer's public health centers of excellence uh, to promote ways to fight Alzheimer's, caregiving, um, and education about the disease. So we've got to be competing for that and we've got to do it. Um, we also put in, uh, into my budget, uh, we put in uh, $3 million in additioning funding to support Florida's Alzheimer's disease initiative. And so we're putting our money where our mouth is. So uh, I believe this is very important for our state. You obviously believe it's very important for the state of the wild, though this is a nice house, but I mean, you obviously believe in the, you know, believe in the, in the cause. Um, and so let's work together. I want to work with the state level. We want to work with the federal government. We want to work with local communities. We want to work with uh, charity and, and the private sector. Um, let's get all hands on deck. Uh, to, to support um, uh, battling Alzheimer's, the caregivers, uh, treatment, and eventually a cure. So thank you guys for having me. We're going to move forward on these initiatives very quickly, and we want to see it bear fruit. So thank you so much.